Hi, my name is Evans, and I'm a technical director at my church. We used to use Easy Worship before, and now we switch to Pro Presenter. For more technical reviews like this, click the link below. So we used uh, Easy Worship and Pro Presenter for the production capabilities. So for my church, we like to create a live stream kind of environment for users. And so the software is our go-to in terms of looking for production a software. We also use it for slides and like slideshows. We also use it for lyrics and lyric overlays where we have that moving motion backgrounds. And then we have lyrics and lower thirds running for our in-person and online audience. We also use it for Bible verses to display real-time Bible updates when a speaker is uh, preaching or giving um, a key text. We also use it for um, graphics to show up announcements or just loops in different screens that we like to have for people to just be kept up to date. And I believe finally we use it for its vast capabilities of adding um, audio onto our software and doing slides at the same time while I'm giving us outputs to different screens showing different things at the same time. It's just all in one. I recently switched to ProPresenter um, less than a year ago and it's given me so much flexibility. Number one is the ability to configure different screens to show different outputs at the same time, yet to keep the viewers engaged. The second thing is it, it has a live stream capability integrated um, into the software directly and I can just from a push of a button go live to Facebook or YouTube depending on where I set my stream. And also in addition to that, it has an integration by a company called Resi, and we're able to buffer the stream by about one or two minutes to ensure our stream never drops any frames and keeps a consistent um, live stream throughout. Yeah, I love how it has transparent backgrounds and we're able to add um, Word documents and text and have different motion backgrounds showing like slide views, which are very helpful for our singing and for different um, graphics we love to put right into the service. And it also contains um, embedded Bible, um, Bible versions, which are different um, translations, about 50, depending on whichever you want to use. You can just literally download and plug and play and uh, switch it to the speaker. And also I love that you can configure screens, your audio routing, you can integrate different services like Song Select and different companies right into the software and all have all those capabilities right at the um, fingerprint of one software. Easy Worship is, a, is as simple as it sounds. It's very simple and easy to learn and just quick to deploy. I love the fact that you're able to just um, add lyrics um, seamlessly and separate them with like line breaks and quickly can go live and literally control your live output and preview output at the same time and make changes. And you can also add different custom backgrounds live as you as you go and easy um easy worship has powerpoint integrated into it seamlessly and so anything that has a powerpoint slides any powerpoint slides can be added to easy worship and still keep the format that they have and go live to any screens that i'd love at the same time and you're able to also create um, different macros um, on a small scale with easy worship to for the different users you have on a week-to-week -week basis so for Easy Worship, it's really simple. Just go to the Easy Worship website and get a subscription. Um, and they have a monthly or yearly subscription plan. And you, when, once you get onto that, you're able to install it on your local machine. I believe it's just one software per machine. And then you're able to watch different training tutorials online or get user support groups on Facebook to learn how to use a software. And then also it comes with a manual as well. You can learn steps by step how to use Easy Worship. And then pretty much it gives comes with a pre-selected song library and then for what songs you don't have you can uh, manually add them onto your software and then you're able to download a bible that you frequently use and then pretty much you get your backgrounds free and set at the bottom of your screen and in addition to that you can also load more from the web um, for example free stock footage and then you can use it plug and play and there you go you're set with easy worship and now for ProPresenter, this is where the fun begins. It's you build onto the basic layers of a production. So once the software comes, you're able to buy it online from Renewed Vision at a one-time fee. And you're also given um, a pro version for a year where you're able to get cast technical support from the creators of the software itself. And you get access to a Facebook community where you're able to ask quick questions and learn on the fly. You also get an hour YouTube tutorial on how to use the software from scratch, which is made by the company. 
and then from there you're able to now download the software and plug and play you're given a seat license for your software so only one license per machine if you want to add more you can add more on the site and buy extra seats to use it on different machines and once you get that set up you're able to configure your screens which is a fast thing to do it gives you an option at the top of the screen where you're able to configure the screens so you can connect different HDMI, VGA, DVI, even NDI and SDI capabilities right to Triple Presenter and direct, give them direct feed out of the, the one software to multiple um, screens. So different places in your hallways, in different rooms in your um, space or right into the main lobby or main hall of your space. From there you're able to generate looks and show what what you, you're able to select what, what shows on what screen. For example, if I don't if I want announcements to show on my main screen, I'll uh, deselect that from my looks and put it on a different screen. So you're able to select looks for each screen to show something independent. If I want my stage confidence monitor to just show me a countdown, a timer to show me what's coming up next, or like quick stage messages, I can set set that up and then the main screen, the main viewers don't get to see any of that. So you can set up set, set up differently for everyone. You're able to set up lyrics and um, you get a song, you can add song select or multi-tracks integration inter integration into the platform and able to search songs from right off the bat of popular worship songs or different songs people are using. You're also able to integrate ProPresenter with Planning Center. So if you have your team and they like to coordinate about who's going to use the software, who's going to run it this week, who's doing sound, who's doing what, you're able to add Planning Center notes onto ProPresenter and you're able to see everything that needs to be done for that service or for that event that you're trying to run. And then you're able to load in the, the Bible or your favorite Bible version and then you have a tab for Bible, so whenever you're ready to do that, you plug and play. And the next big thing in ProPresenter is the themes. You're able to select how you want most of your texts and your outlines to look like, how they're going to fit in your screen, or how they're going to fit in different screens. So themes are able to give you um, designs like that. You're able to set like lines or line breaks. You're able to set how many the delimiters, how many words per slideshow to keep the viewer engaged, the font, the colors you're trying to play with. You're able to add um, this company as well. Renewed Vision gives you a sample sample background that you're able to use on your first to go, but also you're able to add integration of softwares like um, we use something called Visual Media Church. You're able to use Church Motion graphics and you're able to add them onto ProPresenter. You can add themes, you can add different backgrounds or slide builders, and do it all from ProPresenter. And then set up. You can set up your live stream, so you can set up your RTMP key with YouTube and get your key set up. You can get your Facebook key as well. You can set up a Resi, a plugin to buffer your stream, all can be preset from your software. You can set up your audio routing straight from your mixer into a pro presenter using, if you have an audio interface, if you have a USB cable coming direct or different audio um, cables that you have set up, and you can route out audio from pro presenter onto your main house, depending on how you like to do it. You can add things called props. For example, the if you're trying to see someone's name at the bottom, you can add different effects. You can add. You can create your own macros, which is my favorite go-to in ProPresenter. Macros, macros, macros. Set up everything that you need. Set so when you have volunteers coming to help week after week, then just click one button to set up macros to make everything go live. You can set up your camera feeds and inputs, and that's pretty much ProPresenter in a nutshell. I can go on, on and on about ProPresenter. My top consideration for software when I'm picking it is how easy is it. To teach other people how, it, how easy is it to learn the usability and for each volunteer that's going to come week after week so um, ease of learning and number two is a training piece which ties into the community that has um, that uses the software Do, are there any people who use the software that i can go to when i have questions or bump into any problems that can help me quickly troubleshoot number three is the integration with different tools that i have in my setup for example we use video switchers like the atm software control so how easy is it for me to control a software like ProPresenter or Easy Worship to my ATEM? And number four for me is the streaming capabilities. I'm able to stream straight from the software or send my feed from my production software into my switcher for streaming. So that's a huge one for me. And then number five is can I create like green screens or different visual effects um, to use in my live production environment to keep my viewers engaged? Or what, what wiggle room do I have to um, use such things? And number six is pretty much what other tools do I get in addition to the software because it's easy to just use a PowerPoint or different softwares or like a Word document to just present something. Like can I um, integrate PowerPoint into my software? Can I add a Bible um, versus right on the app? Can I add song lyrics right on the go? 
and I'm able to customize things based on my liking and not just have something fixed. So that's something that's very key. And finally, it's just and the number of outputs. I have to check how many outputs I'm trying to send or and is my software able to expand to different future use cases that I haven't thought about now? Is it able to accommodate that? So I believe the outputs is a huge thing in terms of how many screens I'm routing and can my software handle that seamlessly? And finally, it's just my specs of my uh, machines that I have. For example, we use like MacBooks or if, if you're gonna choose the Windows route, what do you have top specs to run the softwares? Because some softwares are very, they use software encoders and that means it's very heavy on your machine compared to others that give a lot of work to hardware encoders. So it depends on the additional gear to run this one piece of software or can it run as a standalone application by itself.